Hello and welcome to pdfsupply.com. Today we're going to be testing a 9070 processor. I have here an IC697 CGR935. You don't have to be concerned about the lettering that follows that. The revision doesn't matter. It's going to be the same test for all of them. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the slot. I'm using a IC697 CHS 755 slot rack. This is empty for the purpose of just testing the processor. And I'm going to go ahead and power that up using an IC697 PWR711. Now, I've Now, the next thing is, um, of course, this light here is the OK light. And this has to be solid before we can do the test. If it's blinking for you, or if it's not coming out at all, if you have an odd blinking pattern, you definitely have a problem with your processor. And this is something that we typically look at here, uh, typically repair. We offer repair service. Um, we offer remanufactured parts, new parts, and exchange programs. So if that's something that you need to do or interests you, please see us at pdfsupply.com for more information. Okay, and the next thing is, now that I do have it powered up and I have a solid light here, I want to connect through port 3. And the cable I'm going to use for that, if you can see here, is an AS693232 SNP. Looks like that. And in the background here, I'm using Prophecy Machine Edition to connect up using the lightning bolt icon. I'm going to connect to the processor. As you could already see, port number three is already communicating, talking. And so we know this port works. And I've removed the door for this test so that you can better see everything that I'm pointing to without any distractions. But if you do need the door insert information, you can find it on our website. But I will be explaining all these features and functions and switches. Now that I am connected up, I'm going to go to the target menu. And about halfway down is the online commands. And when that screen opens up, you want to go to clear. And a window will pop up called clear memory. All you want to do here is clear controller fault table and I.O. table. That's the bottom two selections. Don't select anything else because you could risk losing information on your processor. I'm going to click yes, clear that information. Once it's successfully cleared, I'm going to download and run. This again is a blank information, it's a blank slot, um, empty slot racks. Just a CPU. Right, and then it's going to ask you to, what do you want to download to the controller and just hardware configuration and logic, the top two selections. You do not want to write initial force values or write any information to the flash memory. So we'll OK that. The goal here is to try to get the processor into run mode. It's one of the uh, major functions, of course. So once this build is complete, we should be able to do that. And then I'll be able to tell you more about the LEDs that you're going to start to see and what they mean. Okay, the build is complete and we're okay with that. We're going to enable output and run mode. So again, top left LED is the OK LED. Middle left is the run enabled. Bottom left is the IO enabled, input output enabled. So there's a switch that corresponds with these LEDs and that's this one here. It's a three position switch. Right now it's in the top position, allowing all the LEDs or functions to be on. When I click this into the middle selection, I'm going to lose the bottom LED, meaning that the outputs will be disabled. Okay, so that works fine. And then when I go down to the lower position, the third position, it will take me out of run mode. All right, run disabled. Okay, run enabled again, and input output enabled. So this switch works fine. LEDs work fine. Next light we're going to look at is the bottom LED on its own here. That's going to indicate to us if the memory protection feature is working. By turning this key to the on position, uh, then this LED comes on, tells us that that is functioning. That's the memory protect. So we're okay with that. Okay. The 
bottom port is working, port number three, we want to test port number two. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this, and we're going to look for some communication on port number two. Okay, and immediately we have some communication, some blinking there. So on this particular processor, we're only concerned with port one and port two. So that's CGR935, port one, port two. Now, I have the processor in run mode, so if you feel like this is a processor that's giving you trouble in any way, what you want to do is you want to leave it running overnight or a couple days, maybe over a weekend. And the goal is to try to make sure that or hope that it stays in run mode, uh, both here and, and in the software. For any reason it drops out of run mode, what you want to do is go into your Prophecy Machine Edition, go to Target, and the drop-down menu towards the bottom there is a selection called Diagnostic. And you want to click Diagnostic and it will give you the reason or the, the fault um, that, that made it fall out of run mode. And then, then you can better determine what's wrong with your processor. So if you still can't figure it out, again, we offer uh, repair services. And you can get us at pdfsupply.com to help you. Thank you. I hope you found this video helpful.